Hey guys, so today's look is going to be a very summer appropriate, everybody could wear it type of makeup look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Or let's begin. <laughs> and ignore me please. Um, we're going to go in and prime our face with the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And this is meant for dry skin. It is not too thick or too um, thin. It's just right in the middle, perfect primer. And next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind <laughs> Primer. And this is like a silicone, um, it has a silicone type of feeling. Kind of reminds me of the Smashbox uh, Primer. And it's just going to fit in all those little pores that you have. And just make your um, foundation and all that go on smoothly. And I'm going to go in with one of my favorite um, foundations. Um, the Revlon Color Stay. And this is combination to oily skin and did I say ole? <laughs> oily skin and it's in the number 320 true beige I love this foundation and I prefer to use um, the oily skin combination one because it just seems to stick on to my combination dry and sometimes sweaty type of face that I have <laughs> and right there I just went in and mixed um, the e.l.f. mineral face primer this is supposed to fill in fine lines and create a flawless finish I don't think it does that I just think it gives you like a little glow from within type of look it does have a little um, shimmer to it but not very noticeable once you blend it all nicely with this brush which I am using the e.l.f. powder brush let me just tell you guys before you guys see the whole video that I am using like 80% or maybe like 90% e.l.f. brushes and all these brushes I highly 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 recommend okay so next I'm going in with the Maybelline Maybelline, <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free um what is it it's supposed to be a um, foundation yeah it's a foundation stick and I'm using this actually to contour and I'm using number 355 coconut and I've been loving this um stick to contour my face it just it's nice to have just a stick that I, ju I could just, like how you guys are seeing, um, just line my face and put it everywhere that I have to um, contour just to make myself look nice and bronze and sunny. And what is it that I'm trying to say? I have no idea, people, but it is like 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to get this done. So next, I'm going to using that to um, blend. I'm using the e.l.f small stipple brush to blend all that out and right here I'm using one of my well it's becoming one of my drugstore um, highlighter it's the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment concealer and this is in medium and I think I have found one brush from elf that I am over the top crazy about and it's this elf blush brush it does such a great job of getting in there under your eye to blend everything and it just makes it look all flawless and amazing and just blend it like a high-end brush would do. I kind of compare this to the Sigma, um, what is it, tapered highlighter, the F35. It does the same job pretty much, it's just a different shape. And now going in to set the under eye, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready and this is just a pressed powder and it's translucent it doesn't give you any other um, shade it doesn't give you a shade or nothing it just gives you a nice um, cover and using the best powder to me just our wife is the Rimmel Stay Matte and I am using um, what is it number two or no number 20 in nude beige and I'm using um, my favorite powder brush which is the elf complexion brush and I like that uh, brush to um, set my powder and I think Maybelline just came out with this new master bronze um, bronzers and I'm using number 330 in paradise bronze and I've been loving it it's matte and it's just the pigmentation is so great and to blend all that out I'm using the echo tools um, brush it doesn't have a name to it but if I could find a link to all these brushes and all these items I will list them down below so check down below for the links and the name of the products if they have any and to use this beautiful uh, to give color to my beautiful um, 
okay, what, what was I going to say? A beautiful face? No. To give color to this face, I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in number 8 Coralina. And you don't need a highlighter because this blush has like some white veins in it and that's what you could use as a highlighter in there. And I'm going in and using to prime my eyes the uh, e.l.f. Um, eye primer, I believe it's called. And this thing is like no joke, it's pretty good for our drugstore. And now I'm, the first pattern that I'm going to show you guys is the Wet n Wild number 246 Breed. And I'm using this kind of soft brown but has like peachy undertones. And I love, I love this um, eyeshadow, it's so pretty, I wish it sold it separate. And to blend that in, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I love this eye, um this brush to apply eyeshadow it just does the work in half the time because it's so nice and fluffy it's just amazing you guys should check it out I think it's recently new and next I'm going in with another um, palette and it's a 249 and it's called vanity and I'm using that soft brown that you guys saw it's kind of like a dupe for soft brown by MAC but of course MAC eyeshadow is more pigmented but this one is not that far behind it is a great eyeshadow and it has a great quality and pigmented pigmentation for being drugstore and now I'm going in with that like gold yellow undertone type of eyeshadow that's what my like description of that eyeshadow is and now to for it to use on the corner I'm using this um, deep gold with little hints of um, golden um, light golden undertone Does that makes any sense to you guys <laughs> but I'm using um, for those two I use the elf professional eyeshadow brush and this brush is pretty good for a drugstore it's not the best but it does the job and just to soften the edge or the crease I'm gonna use um, that um, what is it the flawless concealer brush again you can use this as a concealer to blend your concealer or to set your under eye as well and I'm going in with this kind of frosty white or off-white um, eyeshadow and it's such a great eyeshadow to highlight I love the way it highlighted my inner my inner eye it just made my eyes look bigger and just pretty and I'm going in with my holy girl item from the drugstore which is the elf eyebrow kit but I'm sure you guys already know that um, I'm using that eyeshadow just to fill it in, and I'm using the brush that comes within, with, um, within, well, in the freaking, in the freaking, oh my god, I cannot do this. It's in the little eyebrow kit, it comes in it, and both, um, it's a dual brush, and both brushes are really great. And you guys can see, look how great of a job it does in filling in my eyebrows. And now to set my eyebrows, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline, um, what is it, Translucent Clear Gel. And just to set these puppies so they don't go anywhere, they don't move all day. Going in back with the soft brown type of uh, eyeshadow, I'm using the Elf Contour Brush. This brush is really great to get into little small areas. And like are you guys seeing, you guys... I see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm getting in underneath my eyebrow. Oh, not underneath my eyebrow. Underneath on my bottom, um, um, what is it? Lash line, right? That's what it's called? I think so. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in with this um, other, what is it? Eyeshadow brush. And this is from the white collection. It's the e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. Because e.l.f. has white collection and the black collection. And now I'm just going to use that same um, contour brush and highlight the bottom of my, um, is it my eyebrow using the matte eyebrow, no the matte eyeshadow, there you go. <laughs> and right here I'm curling my eyelashes and I'm using this eyelash curler that I got from Forever 21 about two years ago I believe. And going in with one, <laughs> excuse my face expressions, I had too much coffee that day I believe. It might be natural. <laughs> And now I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras from the drugstore. I've used it for the past seven years. It's a great, great mascara. Or you guys can use this one, the L'Oreal Telescope Mascara. I'm using both. One, the L'Oreal Voluminous one is to 
pretty much give me that full looking type of eyelashes I want and the test optic is just to lengthen my eyelashes a little bit more. I barely have eyelashes so whatever mascara that says will lengthen and thicken in, I'm gonna be trying it because this eyes, these eyes don't have anything on them. <laughs> And going in for my bottom eyelashes, I am using the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. This is a great eyelash, I mean eyelash mascara to use underneath your, um, for your bottom lashes, you guys. And for my lips, I am using the, what is it, the lip liner. I'm using from NYX and it's the 841 Coral. This is a great lip liner just on its own. On its, own. it's not a matte shade, it's more of a, kind of has a little sheen glittery going on to it. And to top that off, I'm using the Wet n Wild lipstick in just Peachy number 903. It's a beautiful peachy, kind of with a hint of pink and brownish undertone in a way. And, and to top those two things off, I'm using the Rimmel Lip Lacquer. And this is a 600 Nude Eclipse. And to set the whole makeup is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I love this thing to set and just to hydrate my face during the day and that is all you guys I will list everything down below I'll try to link things to the products and I hope you guys like this video give it a like if you guys like it and that's all you guys I'll talk to you guys later bye